Perfect. Okay, cool. So yeah, again, thank you so much for reaching out. Let me know what you're kind of up to and I'll see if I can maybe just fill you in and just give you some tips here to help you take your, you know, your business to the next level. Yeah, yeah I do. Uh, I run a, I'm trying to figure out my screen here. I get that full screen. Do, 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 do. I think that works. Yeah, I run a, uh, <clears throat> I started a home inspection business. Okay. A Good. couple of years ago. And I've been doing it uh, full time for a little, little bit over a year. Mm-hmm. And it's been going pretty, pretty well. Good. But always looking for uh, more ways to uh, grow business and such. Yes, sir. I hear you. Are you are you pretty much doing business just in in your local area? Yeah, just in uh, mainly in southeastern Wisconsin. Gotcha. Okay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And are you are you um, are what are you doing on social media as far as just maybe maybe I know everyone's obviously you know they have some type of of, of, of presence, but most kind of just, you know, have that, they don't really have the marketing side or the Facebook ad side down, but are you, are you running any Facebook ads or, or, you know, doing any other type of marketing other than just maybe posting? I have, I got the Facebook business page. Good. I have a Instagram business page and the Google uh, business page that I have running. I try to put content on there on a regular basis. I have tried running a few uh, uh, Facebook ads, but never really got anything uh, great Mm -hmm. out of those. And most of my, the best way I've really gotten business and and such is by uh, referrals from friends and family Mm -hmm. and also by uh, contacting realtors through their online presence and saying, Hey, it's, uh, this is, I'm David. I do home inspections in the area. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they'll, we'll strike up a conversation. We'll start talking and, and I've gotten business just from doing that. But I I do know that uh, social media is definitely a, uh, can be a, a big, uh, way to expand the business and such. So, yes, definitely. Definitely. It, it sure can. And I'll, I'll make it as, as simple as I can. Cause I mean, it's obviously going to sound biased, but I, I just, I just truly believe this stuff is more basic than most people think it is. Like most people just, they, they come to social media and some feel very overwhelmed and think they have to do a million things and post every five minutes. Yeah. And it's just, it's just more, it's more basic than that. And it's more easier than that. And it's just, it's, it's, it's more powerful than, than any other marketing platform in, in my professional opinion but obviously this is what I do. So it's going to sound super biased, but you being a local business owner, your number one marketing method should be Facebook ads. Like it should be like, I, I I mean, I just, I can't, I can't stress that enough. And I'll kind of just go over, you know, in the next few minutes why, but that's, that's just what I want to plant in your mind, you know, sooner than later is that Facebook advertising could, could keep you very, very busy and, and, and it, it could be a fraction of whatever else you could be possibly spending, you know, to get a customer or to get a client. So it, are, are your ideal clients realtors or are they just homeowners? I like, guess it's kind of both, I guess. Yeah, you yeah, say. yeah. You kind of need, and the realtors are the ones that are on the front lines that are getting the uh, clients mm-hmm. and there's the ones selling the houses. So if you have a good relationship with them and that it's, uh, they send you over the business, mm-hmm. but it would be kind of nice to, in a, in a way kind of bypass having to rely on that. It'd be nicer to have the name out there that people can recognize a little more easily. And if they see it, uh, mm-hmm. uh, quite a few times that, Hey, if they're buying or selling a house, or if they just need somebody to come in and take a look at their house, if they're planning on fixing something up or mm-hmm. something like that, that, hey, someone can come out and inspect the property and say, hey, what's wrong? What could cost you money down the road? And what what's a good priority of of what to fix in a, in a particular order here? So mm-hmm. it's just kind of both in a way. So then you, so in a perfect world, would you say you'd rather be direct to consumer? You'd rather just get the attention of the homeowner? I th- yeah, that probably be the best way to to do it. Because otherwise, you have yeah. to make you have to have a, quite a few relationships with realtors. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 
and people that will trust you. And I, I've been doing pretty good. I, I can, I've been slowly doing that over the first year mm -hmm. and I've made quite a few connections already. Good. Which has been uh, uh, real nice to, uh, to be able to do. Let's see, why is my screen acting funny here? What is your, um, what's your business page? Is it, is it Humble Home Inspection? Is that your brand? Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. So it's this one right here. Okay. Yep, that's me right there. Yep. Perfect. Let me, um, let me just open it up in a, in a separate tab here. Okay. Perfect. So here, here's what I can really kind of show you and, and really just start with the basics. That's what I truly believe most business owners, most small business owners, most local business owners. I just, from experience, just, and, and just a little context of me without boring you to death, Dave, I've just been doing this for a very long time. I've been online and, and internet advertising for the past 20 years. Mm -hmm. So I've just been trying to crack the code on what it takes to capture a lead on the internet since, yes, yeah, since 1999, since 2000, mm -hmm. 1999. So 1999 is when I kind of got into it. 2000 is when the internet really started to scale. And so I've just been mastering that since then. Um, but for the past four years, since 2016, I've been helping real estate agents with all this. That's how Melissa knows me. Cause I, I kind of helped her just point out some basics, but yep. since, since 2016, I can say that I've literally spoken to thousands of small business owners in this country on this exact topic. How do we get our brand? How do we expose, you know, our local area to our business? How do we do it on mm -hmm. social media? I've literally spoken to thousands of business owners, mainly real estate agents, but the same strategies that I teach real estate agents applies to any local business owner. It's all the same. Um, and so before we go into really how we capture a lead and how we really get the attention of, of our local area, there's a few basics that everyone misses. And so it's what I call social media branding. It's what I just call credibility. Um, because the facts are, is that over here on this personal page, as you, as you take this friend list up, and it doesn't even matter how many you have right now, um, whether you have 400, 500, 600, 200, or you have you know, 5,000 friends on this list, it really doesn't matter. As you scale that number up, and the only reason why you would, why you would do it on Facebook, why you, why you would do it on Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter, the only reason why you would increase that friend count is because you're building a business. Like that's the only reason why. Like if you were not building a business, you'd be fine with the hundred people that you actually know on Facebook here, your cousins, your girlfriend, your, you know, at the end of the day, we only know a handful of people that we have that we're on, you know, that are on our friend list, mm -hmm. you know, whether it be our cousins, our friends from high school, it's really just a handful, but it's because we're business owners where we think we need to take the 300 friends that we actually know to 3,500. You know, it's, 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 it's thinking that we need all that exposure. So I need to go and get this friend list up. And so as, as we do that, the reality is, is that as this friend list goes up, majority of the people that you're connecting with will not live in the area. They won't mm -hmm. even live in the state. Like if you and I became friends right here, I'm in California, you're out there in Wisconsin. Yep. And that's just how it is. That's how that's social media. So whether you're building a YouTube channel and you're putting up YouTube videos, it doesn't matter. 99% of the people that will end up following us and becoming friends with us on that platform don't even live in the area. Um, now that, that, that's a fact and, and that's kind of the most important to really kind of keep in mind. So as we continue to post over here, that's why you'll find very few people engaging because most, most, and especially when we start talking about our business, if we're a local business and we start posting over here, no one really cares because no one's in the area, mm -hmm. you know? So, so, but with that being said, we're still building a business and we still need our branding out there. We still need people to know who the heck we are. And so just like offline, just like you did with this, with this decal, this door, you know, decal on your, on your car, yeah. that right there is offline branding. That right there is branding. As Dave is driving through the neighborhood, people are seeing that, that decal. And that yeah. is what we call branding. That's important. That's offline. That's basic branding on social media. There's also branding. And so here's what I see everyone miss. And, and I'll just kind of cover a few basic steps. There's really only, there's really only five steps, but I'll kind of just, I'll kind of just give you the first three or maybe even four. Actually, I'll give you all five. Cause this is simple. This is very, very simple. 
and, and here's kind of how it lays out. And, and again, these five steps just pertain to those that are looking to build a social media brand and those that are looking to get the attention of, our, of their local area and those that are looking to capture leads. So that's what these five basic steps apply to. So here's number one, because most of these friends are not going to know us because most of these people will probably never know us. But at the same time, because we're building a business, when we land here, whether you're friends with an individual or not. So before I request you, this information still needs to be shown mm -hmm. because you're building a business. So what you have, and it's right here in the intro. So what you have currently is you have works at went lives and from. And so that's what I see. I don't know if you have anything else that, that only friends may see because mm -hmm. in the intro, you can have links that are, that are only shown to those that are friends with you. Okay. So whether you have it that way and you have way more stuff listed, but I just can't see it because we're not friends yet or, or, or you don't, but either, or it should be public, whatever other information is, is in this intro, this could be it. But if you have more, it should be public. So here's what's missing. Here's what should be there. Here's what should be public. And again, it's because you're, bu you're building a business. As people come here, the number one thing that we want to be showing them is our social media links. Okay. So just like Melissa, I'm pretty sure she set hers up. As I come to Melissa's page and I, and I land here for the very first time, what she's showing me right away is she's showing me a link to her business page just like you are, but mm -hmm. she's also showing me her Instagram, her Pinterest, her LinkedIn, her Twitter. She even went to the extent of adding her, her Snapchat and, of course, her website address. This right here is what we call social media branding, basic branding that most people miss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I never even thought about that. You have all that? I, I, I didn't think about anything like Yeah, like exactly, that. right? We don't. And, and this is what, what I call step one. So before we even think about how in the heck are we going to capture a lead, this basic stuff goes a long way. And all that is is credibility. All that is is social proof. All that is is perception. All that is is Melissa letting me know, hey, I'm a real person. I exist on these other platforms. Whatever your favorite one happens to be, follow me there. Mm -hmm. and, and she went the extra step to even match everything so her branding looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. Everything is one name. So just like you, you have humble home inspection. We need to see Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, your website, everything, humble home inspection, humble, humble home inspection, humble home, home inspection, everything listed just like Melissa. That's what I call step one, because not only did I mention everyone, majority of these friends are going to live across the country and not know you, but at the same time, the not know you is, is, is what is what is important. So because I don't know Melissa, but I come here and I see, I, see, I see more information than most, it tends to grab my attention more than most. 99% mm -hmm. of real estate agents don't have that. 99% of business owners don't have their Facebook listed that way. And a lot of people will say, well, David, that's my personal page. I have my business page. I have my personal page, whatever. It, it's all one page. Like it's all one brand. It's Facebook. Those need to be listed and they need to be listed here. They need to be listed here. But then also as I come to the business page right here in the about section on the business page, this is where they need to be listed as well. So you did a great job with the dot com. Yes. All we're missing are the social media links. So right here where it yes. says more info, this is where I would see Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, um, Twitter. That would be right here where it says more info. Okay. So for example, on mine, so again, this is what I call step one. You come to my personal page and right away in the intro, you'll see my links listed. There's everything right there. Again, everything is listed and everything is identical. But then when you come to my business page, you click on the first link and you go over to my business page. And then if you click about, this is where you'll also see everything. So just like yours, yours said more info that's where the social media links would go. So as people come here, right away, they're seeing Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and down here is LinkedIn and Pinterest, but I don't know why the icon isn't showing. But everything is matching. Everything is identical. Because the last thing you want to do is come over here to Facebook and, and brand Humble Home Inspection, but then go over to LinkedIn and someone has the name. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know what I mean? Like this is basic stuff, basic, basic stuff. And I see it time and time and time again. Someone will brand it on Facebook, but then someone has the Instagram. Yep. 
right? So if we're going to take this name to the market, we just need to make sure that we have that name locked on every social media platform. And that's kind of where it starts is, yeah. is basic branding step one. That's what I would advise you to do. And I have a simple video, like I have a YouTube channel, so I have a video on that. I can, I can, it's like a 10 minute video, 12 minute video, but I can send you that video and it, it just walks you through how to link everything. And, and once you watch it, you'll be able to link everything in two minutes. Okay. Like it's super, super simple. But uh, again, when you look at that and I come across another business owner that, that doesn't have that and, and there's this blank, again, it's just perception. I don't know Melissa. I don't know Dave. I don't know John. I don't know Stacy, but she's just showing me a little bit more. And I happen to be on Instagram all day. So maybe I should click on her Instagram and follow her there as well. Automatically, she won my attention. Because now, 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 not only does she have me on Facebook, but she, al she also has me on, on Instagram. And guess what? I'm also on LinkedIn all the time as well. So now she even has my attention even more. Now she's connected with me on LinkedIn as well. Basic stuff, sense. man. Basic yeah. stuff. And, and all you want to do, the reason for all that, one, well, one reason is, is to stay top of mind. As people come, come and request you as friends over here, you want to give them the ability to follow you on their favorite platform not mm -hmm. just yours yep. so if i come here and dave and i connect on facebook okay we connected on facebook but how does dave know that i don't spend 97 hours a day on twitter mm -hmm. right and so if you had it listed there just like melissa guess what i would have clicked on your twitter and i would have followed you there because that's where i spend all my time and because i'm more comfortable messaging on twitter i would have messaged you on twitter and if that was regarding a home inspection you better hope you get it Mm -hmm. right so just because again we're here facebook is king kong this is where everyone is at that's why when it comes to lead capture it's facebook advertising it's not twitter advertising it's not it's not even it's not even really instagram advertising it's really facebook advertising they are king kong but at the same time these other platforms like these ones instagram pinterest linkedin twitter these other platforms are where hundreds of millions of people are also at as well and i want to be able to meet people where they're at as well you know so that's just that's just not leaving any crumbs on the table i want everyone's attention and follow me wherever you want to follow me you know so that right there is what i what i would highly highly encourage you to do is, is just take your name and, and, and apply it to every platform and get everything mm -hmm. listed and again as i mentioned whether we're friends or not that's information that should be listed public. And that's why if you pulled up my profile, we're not friends yet, but if you came to my personal page, you would see all this information because it's public. Yep. So you don't want to hide it from anyone. You don't want to just show it to your friends, put it, set it for public. And I show you in that video and then, and then everything will show regardless if you're friends with that individual or not. Make sense? Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah. So that's what I call step one, listen on the personal page and then listen it on the business page. Okay. In the about section, here's mm -hmm. step two. And this is super, super important, super important. And most people just f forget this basic Facebook ad or, and actually to tell you the truth, most, most, most don't even know how to run it. Um, but here's step two, before we even get to lead capture, before we even get to getting the attention of our local area, here's what needs to happen first. Again, whether you're an inspection company, whether you're a real estate agent, whether you're a chiropractor, a yoga studio, a dentist, whatever, it all applies. There are many, many, many of any business in any city. So I can go to Wisconsin right now and there's probably 50 different inspectors. I can go yep. to Wisconsin right now and there's probably 150 different dentists, right? So we have yep. options when it comes to a business. Like there's many, many options. And so on social media, Again, no one knows us. So I have to stand out. Again, coming to my page and seeing all those links, that's step one. That's one way I'm going to stand out. But one other way I need to stand out, and this is what I call, again, step two, as 99% of businesses have anywhere from 100 to 200 likes, mm -hmm. I need to come to this page and automatically see 1,000. Yep. I need to come to this page and see 2,000. Like this right here is where your first Facebook ad needs to go. Every business owner in your area has a couple hundred. I need to come here and see a couple thousand. Okay. Like for example, again with Melissa, there's step one. I come to her business page and as, as 99% of real estate agents have anywhere from 100 to 200 likes, 
I come over here to Melissa and I see 1600. I don't know Melissa, I don't know those other agents. But when it comes to basic perception, I come here, I'm used to seeing 200 likes on everyone else's page. I come here, I see 1600. Automatically, she wins when it comes to perception. I don't even know Melissa. For all I know, she's probably barely licensed. For all I know, she probably hasn't even closed her first escrow. I don't know. But I'm looking mm -hmm. at 1600 and automatically assuming that she's the queen of real estate. Yep. Yeah, I so, just met her. Uh, I met her in person a couple of days ago. Yeah. Right. And, and, and is she new to the business? Or, or uh, she's been a real estate agent for I think a year now. Yeah, right. She's not that. Yeah, she she even has the baby face, right? She even has the yeah. baby face. So so she's new to the business. She has a baby face. But I come here and I automatically she has my attention at sixteen hundred. And 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 most people consumers, it's not like we're looking for the like count. We're not looking for that. Like I'm not coming here looking, oh, how many likes does she have? It's not that. It's just the fact that when I come here, it sticks out like a sore thumb. Yep. And, and, and when I come here, the 106, it sticks out like a sore thumb. That person's either going either gonna to win my attention or they're not. And it, and it happens that fast. Mm -hmm. So step two is simply running a Facebook ad to take that number up a little higher. Like you don't need to go up that, that high, but you need to put a comma in that number as fast as possible. And click an invite is not, it's not going to happen that way. Yep. So that's what I call step two is, is, is a simple Facebook ad, which I can easily help you run. Like you just, I just charge you a good review. Just give me a review on my page and I'll run it for you. I can even start that tonight. You know, whatever, whatever budget you have, I'll, I'll just help you run that ad. But that's the super important one. That that's step two. That has to happen before you go and try to capture leads, which yep. which brings me to step three. Step three is when we start capturing leads. So here's how you want to do it. Okay. So this right here, thirty seconds of home inspection greatness. Was this a? Let's see. This, is this a video? Okay. This is a video. Okay. Do I really need a home inspection? Okay. Perfect. Here's here. Perfect. Okay, here's step three. Here's step three. Right here, you put together a simple video. Yep. Do you have a PDF? Do you have a brochure? Do you have anything that I can physically download? Uh, I don't think so. Like that, that, that would give me that information. That information that's in that video, do we have it on paper? Or can we get it on paper? I guess we probably could. Okay, because that right there becomes your bait. Just like a fisherman, I got to have bait on that lure. I got I to gotta throw that. I got to cast that, 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 that line out, and I got to have some bait on that, on that anchor. I got to have some bait. If I don't have any bait, I'm not catching anything. What could be a great piece of bait is a free download, a free PDF, a free tip sheet. Here are the top 10 things to look out on a home inspection. Like, give mm -hmm. me some type of guide. Give me some type of cheat sheet. Give me some type of top 10 tips. Break down your services and, 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 and give me some type of brochure. That's a great way to start capturing leads. So as you start to post stuff like this, 30 seconds of home inspection greatness and click the button below to download your free 2020 PDF or your free 2020 tip sheet Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free guide now. Okay. So as you start to give away this, this, this PDF, this download, this top 10 tips, whatever you want to call it, these are people that are in your local area. So now this is when you start running Facebook ads directly to your local area, giving out your top 10, your top 10 tips or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So as people start to download it, there's, there's only one type of person that would actually download. Like, what would you even call it? Like, what would you call it in your business? Like a tip sheet? What would you call it? What could you call it? Just give me something That's random. Good question. Like, like uh, you could have something with uh, how, to, how a home inspection saves you money or... Uh, That's perfect. Or something perfect. that top, top things that inspectors find on inspection. Perfect. 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 Safety hazards? I don't know. You can... You can, you ever heard of this, this website here, Fiverr? I have. Okay. You can easily, easily, easily come to Fiverr and you can look for a ghost writer and you could, you, you could, you could spend, you could spend, mm, I would say no more than 20 bucks, 
no more than 20 bucks and you can have someone put together a few pages for you on a specific topic. So, so if I'm giving them home inspection, give me, or, or whatever you just mentioned, I, I, I send that over to the ghostwriter and they'll literally give me a few pages on that topic and I can pay them 10 bucks, 15 bucks, and I'll have something written down. And, and, and that right there, I can use as a, as a download to start capturing leads. There's only one person that would download that PDF and that's a homeowner. Yep. So what you want to start doing is you want to start giving away something in exchange with, you know, a value in exchange for information, in exchange for a name and number, in exchange for a name and email. That's how you're going to capture leads. You got to, you got to give, you got to give something away for free. And the easiest thing to give away for free, which will be free for you also, other than maybe having to put it together up front, you know, would be a PDF, a simple digital download, a brochure. Here's the reason why you need a home inspection, or here are the top 10 things to look out on a home inspection or whatever, however you want to twist it. Like, you know, your business, you know, what the benefits of that home inspection is and are put that on paper. And, 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 and when you can, when you can do that, like you can come here and I can, I could spend, let's just say 10, let's say 15 to 20 bucks. I don't want to spend no more than $20. I can come here and I can just hire someone in a different country that has professional grammar and, and all that. And they can come in. I will ghostwrite and edit your fiction story. I will, I will write short stories. I will turn your idea into an amazing best-selling book. See this person right here. We don't even need a book. We need a few pages. Mm -hmm. So I can turn your idea. Okay. My idea is home inspection and the, and the, and the top benefits or the reasons why, or why you need it or what to look out for. I can just send all that to this ghostwriter and for 20 bucks, they'll put together a nice PDF for me. And then that's what I go around giving away. That's what I start running Facebook ads on is, is, is throwing out videos like this. And this is what I call step three. So when you could start putting out videos like this, but rather than just posting on all these platforms, you're only going to post one on Facebook and you're going to do it once a week. When you, can, when you can post once per week with a call to action to download your free PDF, but on the back end, you're actually running an ad targeting your area in Wisconsin. That's when you start crushing it. Because now, now, now people are starting to get to know you. Now people are downloading your PDF. Now people are on your email list. Now people are scheduling appointments. It all starts there. Okay. Okay. So it, it really, so as weekend, weekend con consisted of putting up still roof. Okay. Brothers pull. Perfect. See this stuff right here is good, man. It's it, this stuff is, is, is perfect. But, but at the same time, also including a free download, but mm -hmm. at the same time, what you're doing here is you're, you're just posting, right? You're just posting yep. the, the, the strategy that I'm really giving step three is when you actually take that and run a, and run a Facebook ad. Okay. So, um, humble home inspection was here. So you're doing, you're doing really, really good stuff. We just need to, we just need to start targeting it because everything you post is not targeted. None, none of these people, none of the hundreds, well, maybe a few, maybe a few of the 106 live in Wisconsin, but the majority, mm -hmm. as you take that number up, they're not. So you want to just start taking stuff and, and running it weekly as a Facebook ad to give away your tip sheet. And that's, that's when you start, that's when you start capturing leads and, 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 and to kind of do that, Here's here. Let me give you an example. Let me show you what, what it looks like at, and this is just the news feed. This is the middle of the page. This is where all the attention is at right here in the middle. So as people are scrolling through here, right here, this is perfect. Here's an ad. Anytime you see the word sponsored, that is an ad. So for example, this is a perfect example. Want to improve sales, create a great customer experience, optimize your online store with a free guide from PSFK. Mm -hmm. So this, this person of, of Valarar, however the heck you pronounce yep. that, all they're giving away is a free guide. And when I click on download, a form pops up, I enter my information, they capture the lead, and that form is then emailed to me. Or that, that, that PDF or the digital commerce playbook is emailed to me. But see, again, what, what I'm saying is rather than just posting it for everyone to see that live all across the country, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, forget about all these platforms. It's one per week. 
you're running it as an ad seven days out of the week. You're doing one per week. You're running it for seven days and you're giving away a PDF. Maybe next week it's a different image. The third week, it's a different image. The fourth week, it's a different image, but the same call to action. Download my free guide. And before you know it, man, you'll have tons of people downloading this tip sheet from you. And that's when we move into step four and five, when now I have these people on an email list scheduling appointments with me. So that's kind of what, what I would highly, highly recommend you, you do is, is maybe reach out to someone on Fiverr and, mm -hmm. just, and just connect with, look, I will professionally ghostwrite and edit. This person right here, 4.9, 150 reviews, 15 bucks. Like, that's not bad. Not at all, man. Like to put together a cool PDF, at least maybe to even get you started because there's, there's mm -hmm. a ton of stuff that you know, right? You're knowledgeable in, in, in that entire field. Maybe you reach out to a ghostwriter to just get the ball rolling and, and mm -hmm. give them the topic, have them go off and write a bunch of stuff on it. And then once you get back that Word document, you can edit it and maybe add some images, maybe add some more, maybe add your two cents because mm -hmm. you know all the stuff. You know more about this stuff than they do. But at the same time, give them a topic and believe me, they'll go do research on it and they will write some stuff on it. And so if I can, if I can get maybe, maybe five pages back from them and I spend 15 bucks to have them put together five pages, I can get those five pages back, add some images, add some more stuff that I know, you know, based on my knowledge and turn that five pager into a 10 pager. And there goes my free download. That's not too bad. And, 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 and so this entire thing, man, the reason why most Facebook ads don't work is because most are just pitching. No one's giving value and no one's giving away anything for free. Mm -hmm. You got to give, you got to give, give me something, give me something, give me something for free. Give me something tangible. Give me something that I can actually hold in my hand. And, mm -hmm. and that, and when it comes to online marketing, the easiest and the cheapest is a PDF. Like yeah. I might have to spend up front to get it done, but once I get it done, I can capture unlimited leads with it. <clears throat> you know, so, so that, that's, that's what I would do to capture leads. But again, it, it comes down to running ads every week. It comes down to having a budget for that. You don't got to spend too, too much, man. You don't got to spend too much at all. Um, I always tell people start at, start at at least, and this is for step three, step four, step five. Step three is really the weekly ad. Step four is when you capture the lead. Step five is when you start emailing this list of, of, of leads that are coming in. Because as leads start to download your guide, you want to be able to keep in touch with those leads. And you're not going to call them every day. You're not even going to physically email them at all. Your step five is what I call email automation. So as someone comes here and sees my ad, step three, they, they, they then click on the button, they fill out the form, that's step four. And then as I get that email, it's step five, which is my email autoresponder that is gonna automatically email them based on what I put together. So if I put together like a, like a guide, like let's say you give me 10 tips, 10 tips to look out in a home inspection. And these 10 tips are powerful. These are things that you know, like, like the back of your hand. Step five is when I can put together a handful of emails to nurture that list. So for example, if I come to your, if I see your ad, I click the button, I download your, your home inspection guide, 10 tips to what to look out for when getting a home inspection. I download it. I put my name and email. I'm going to receive an email right away with a link to download it. It's a PDF. It's a link. It goes via email. That's step five is that email autoresponder because Dave is not going to be sitting there physically emailing people as they, as the lead comes in. No, that's step five. That's going to be all automated. So what I would do is I would have some type of email autoresponder in place where the moment that person enters their email, that email autoresponder triggers right away. That person receives the PDF and they can download it. But tomorrow, they better hear from you again. And it's not going to be you physically emailing or calling anyone. It's going to be that email autoresponder sending out another email. Hey, Dave, this is David. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know yesterday you downloaded my 10 tips on home inspections. Do you remember on page one when I was talking about tip number one? Here's what I meant. And by the way, Dave, if you like a home inspection or if you'd like to kind of get me on the phone and really pick my brains and really get my two cents on what I can really help you do. Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. 
Two days later, another email automatically, automatically goes out. Hey Dave, this is David. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know a few days ago you downloaded my 10 tip sheets on home inspections. Do you remember on page three when I was talking about tip number two? Here's what I meant by it. And these are basic emails that you would be able to put together in a heartbeat, but they're, they're set in an email autoresponder that, are, that is designed to go out automatically. So now as we look at all this, Step three, these Facebook ads are running to your local area 24-7 while you're out working, while you're sleeping, while you're with your family. These ads are running seven days a week. It's one per week. So I just want to keep it super simple. It's not, a, it's not a new ad every day. It's a weekly ad. So one ad for the one ad for the week, you run it for seven days, target that local area, and people are downloading your guide. Second week, same thing. Third week, same thing. But if you can imagine, it's all automated. From the moment the Facebook ad is going out, it's automated. To the moment people are clicking on the button and filling out the form, it's automated. To the moment these people are receiving emails on your behalf, it's all automated. To the moment that, it, because in each email is going to be a link to your calendar. So to the moment that people are actually clicking the link in the emails to schedule an appointment, it's all automated. So you're not lifting a finger, man, until, until you're actually calling a person back who already scheduled an appointment with you. Yep. That is the ultimate goal. Like that's the ultimate dream for any business owner is just mm -hmm. to wake up and have appointments on their calendar and they haven't lifted a finger. Mm -hmm. That is the ultimate goal. Now, does it, time, does it take some kind of time to get there? Yeah, but can it happen right away? Yeah. It just comes down to Facebook ads. It comes down to filling up. It's a funnel. That's all it is. We have to fill up the top of the funnel. Filling the top of the funnel consists of running a consistent ad. As we're running ads to our local area and people are starting to see our name, they're starting to see our brand, they're starting to download our free guide. Now people are coming into the funnel and they're receiving our emails. And each email is again designed to get them on the phone. Each email is designed to get them to schedule an appointment. So, so in each email, I'm going to follow up and say, hey Dave, this is David again. Hey, remember a few days ago, you downloaded my, my, my home inspection guide. Do you remember on page four when I was talking about tip number three? Here's what I meant by it. So all you're doing is giving me value. You're just educating me even more via email, but it's a short, simple email. But at the end of it, there's a call to action. Hey, Dave, and by the way, if you'd like a home inspection now, or if you'd like to get me on the phone, or if you'd like to even you know, get more information out of me, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And again, these are automated emails that are going out, man, that are just designed to, to get people to schedule a call. So I better do it that way than trying to do it all by yourself and chasing yes. after people yes man like it, it it can really be magic and and at this at the same time and just when it comes to 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 my real you know just knowledge like a facebook ad is going to be cheaper than any other form of marketing that you could possibly put out to get the attention of your local audience it's all about your local audience forget about everyone on social media forget about once you and i become friends forget about me i'm in california man i'm not I, i'm not in the market i'm not in your market right? So forget about all these people. The only way that I can be doing it is running a Facebook ad to it, to get the attention of people that live in my area. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the only thing I can do at, in, 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 at this time, man, is, is run a Facebook ad to do that because I'm either going to do that or I'm going to run a radio ad. I'm going to run a TV commercial. I'm going to maybe get a billboard or maybe some bus benches. I'm going to get a bunch of these decal signs, which even that one sign wasn't cheap. Yeah. That one sign that you put on your one door, Dave, even yep. that wasn't cheap, man. Yep. Right. It's like, dang, everything offline. That's my whole point is quote unquote offline. Anything you could mm -hmm. possibly do offline to get the attention of our local market is expensive. When everyone and their mother is scrolling on their phone right now on Facebook. Yep. Everyone's scrolling through and that's it, man. A lot of stuff that you've been talking about. To, I've seen different sponsored ads and a lot of them are the same similar ads over and over again, every single week. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. seeing from other uh, especially realtors that I've seen in the area, mm -hmm. the same ones keep popping through every single uh, week that I see. So, mm -hmm. so some people are already uh, implementing this. It looks like. Yes, man. A lot, a lot of people, that's, that's how you capture leads online. And whether it's Facebook or Instagram or, or, or Google, any, any other way, the best way to capture a lead is to give something away for free mm -hmm. and, and, and the cheapest 
thing to give away a value for free is a PDF, is a download. Yeah. So give me some type of information. So if you're a business and you have this specific type of service you're offering, okay, great. Educate me on that. Put it on paper, call it a PDF and give it to me. Mm -hmm. Right. That, that right there is, is how you win. Is how you win. And, and I guarantee you, man, if you were to really implement this, you'd probably be the, the only home inspector running Facebook ads in that local area. And you would dominate. Like you would dominate. You would dominate, dominate, dominate. So yep. that's kind of step three is, is, what, is what I'm kind of what I spent the last few minutes talking about running this to your local area. That's kind of step three, the PDF, getting people to download it, putting people on an email list and emailing them to get them to schedule an appointment. That's all step three, four and five. And that, that might happen soon. That might happen later. That might, you might be ready to do that now. You most likely you're not. And I don't, even, I don't even recommend you start that right now. Like that kind of, there's some thinking. We got to get this PDF together, right? Like there, there's a few more steps that you want to kind of, you know, you want to kind of think that part through first. Mm -hmm. But what you need to do right away and what you want to do first is step one and two. Yep. That like that sense. needs to be implemented like like sooner than later is is just step one, step two, getting all the links listed and taking this simple like count up a little higher. Like take it through the roof so people land here and they're like, holy crap, Dave is crushing it. Yep. You know, yeah, 106 so, does not impress too many people. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. And 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 these 106, the face this specific Facebook ad is the only ad that you that you have to run to everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of home ownership. So you're targeting homeowners, but you're targeting everyone on Facebook. That's the only way you can run that ad at, 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 at the best price. Like, cause you don't want to spend a lot of money on the like ad after you get your, your, your number, whatever your number may be a thousand, 2000, whatever. I think, I think Melissa's number is 2000. I think that ad is still running for her. Um, mm -hmm. She'll cap out like at 2000. You don't need that many. I mean, you don't need to go that, that high, but it's up to you. It's totally up to you. But my point is, is that that one, that one ad goes to everyone after that ad then we go on to step three and, and hopefully we can have a PDF or some type of download by then. And that's when you start running the weekly ads directly to your area. Mm -hmm. That's when you start capturing leads because you're not going to capture leads from the likes. The likes is a, a simple ad that you do simply for the vanity, simply for the credibility, sim simply for the social proof of the page. That's mm -hmm. not where leads are going to come from. Right. But, but at the same time, I truly believe leads do come from there because leads come from the back end. When people land there and they see a big number, they're like, holy crap, then you got their attention. Mm -hmm. And that would be a person that actually lives in your local area. So by the time we start running ads to your local area, that number will be up. So as people start to see your ads here in the newsfeed again, let's just look at a random ad again. Here is, okay, here's James sponsored ad. There's the text. There's his video. There's his learn more. Mm -hmm. When it comes to every single ad, you're going to have a call to action button down here. It'll be a learn more button or a download now or, or a shop now, whatever. There's always this call to action button on an ad. But what people can also do, not only can they, not only can they click on learn more, but what a lot of people do, especially if they haven't seen you before, especially if they're seeing your ad for the first time, what a lot of people do is they'll click on your name before they give up any information, they'll mm -hmm. click on your name to come check you out first. And when they come to your page and they scroll down and they see 13,000, I don't know James, I don't know him from Adam, but when I'm looking at 13,000, I'm like, holy crap, okay, he may be doing something right. Yep. Right? And I don't know James for all we know, he just got started. I don't know James, but it's that number that automatically allows me to assume that he must know something about something. Because mm -hmm. how in the heck are thirteen thousand? When little do I know, he probably just ran a Facebook like ad, like I'm telling you to do. For <laughs> little, you know, little do I know, and little do I care. I don't care, right? Like it is what it is. But it's a big number, and that is what people are going to see. So by the time we get to step three, and we start running weekly ads, these people in your local area, they will be clicking on your name, and that one hundred six would be through the roof by then. Mm -hmm. That's why I call that like ad. I call that step two. That has to be done before you get the attention of your local area. So let's take that number up a little higher. So it just, it just comes down to you, you know, what, what's your budget and, and I can easily help you run that ad. I think it would definitely be a, 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 an awesome thing to have over a, a thousand likes to the page. I think, I think that would uh, blow uh, most other inspectors out of the water. 
Oh yeah, for sure. They don't have hundred or two hundred on their pages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's quite a bit of a uh, competition up in this area, and but a lot of these guys are older gentlemen yep. in the business, and so not a whole lot of them are super active on mm -hmm. social media. There's a couple of companies that I have routinely seen mm -hmm. post ads, and I haven't looked at their uh, likes on their page, but some of those companies have been around for you know, 10, 20 years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that uh, they have, they're very well established and I've only been doing this for a year. So yes, man. Yeah. A long ways to go. But see at the same time on social media, no one knows that no one knows that mm -hmm. you've only been in for a year. Yep. So as we take that number up, they're going to come here and think that you've been in business forever as well. Yep. That's the perception, right? And so that's worth the likes I used to have. What's that? They used to have like five or six likes, so. Right, yeah, right. And, and now, and, and so now for you to take that to 200, you'll be clicking invite until your finger falls off. Mm -hmm. You know, so when we can just simply run a like ad and be at 200 by tonight. Yep. You know, so that's the difference. So it really, it just comes down to Facebook, the way Facebook, their ads are, the way they kind of work as far as pricing, it just comes down to like a daily budget. Like mm -hmm. most people will spend five bucks a day. Some spend 10 bucks a day, but I mean, it's really not, it's really up to you, but mm -hmm. I would just simply run that first. And, and whether you want to start step three tomorrow or next week or next month, it doesn't even matter, but that like ad would run for a month. Mm -hmm. So you want to kind of budget out at least, at least five bucks a day for, for 30 days. Okay. That's not if too you, bad. Yeah. If you want to budget that, that, that right there would take that number well over a thousand. Okay. Like well over a thousand. And we'd probably be, be there even, you know, much, much faster than 30 days. So it just comes down to you. Does that, does that fit the budget? Five bucks a day for a month? Yeah. It's about 150 bucks. Yeah. 150. And that number is going to be through the roof. That's pretty, uh, um, uh, reasonable to be able to get, uh, that many more people. Oh yeah. Yeah, like, for sure. I mean, in that uh, exposure and, and people come to the page and see, Hey, this guy must be doing something correctly. If he has a thousand likes to his page. Heck yeah. And, and then especially when they click about, let me look more into Dave, who the heck is humble home inspections. Let me find out what he's doing. The most obvious thing is about, and then when they come here and they see humble home, home inspection home, when they just see that name, just branded, mm -hmm. that's even more credibility. Yeah. So again, that's step one, man. I want you to really knock that part out. Cause that part's simple. Yep. And, and I want you to really make sure you have this name on every platform. You and it's really to... not every platform. It's really, these are the top five. It's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Those are your top five. So there's billions of people, literally with a B as in boy, there's billions of people on those top five alone. Mm -hmm. And if we're doing video, then obviously YouTube. YouTube is where you want to start putting video. That's if you're doing a lot of video. But if you're not doing a lot of video, then it's not YouTube. It's really just these top five. You know, so get those links up. That's step one. And then I can, I can start this ad tonight and, and we'll be at that thousand in no time. Um, but you're going to owe me a good review, Dave. Is that cool? Yeah, that'd be just fine. I'll give you a review too, man. I'll, I'll, I'll write you a review over here. Cause that, that's another thing you want to start doing. So the likes will be up. Those links will be listed. And then as we start to build our, our brand even more, start getting reviews from more people. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's super powerful. Cause over here on my, on my page, that's what I kind of have really worked on over the past few months is just making sure everyone, you know, gave me a, a cool review. So if you come into my page, not only do you scroll down and see like, again, there, step one was all my links, but if you come over here and you just come to the home page, like, let me refresh this page. Like again, Dave, you don't know me from Adam. But when you come to my page and you want to really try to dig deep and do your due diligence, okay, come to my business page. And then a person, just a random average person will come here. They'll scroll down and they see automatically 10,000. Mm -hmm. And you're like, okay, maybe he is doing something right. When little do you even know me? Yep. Right. But it's the number that sticks out and you're like, holy crap. Okay. He must know something. Right. And, and, and again, I went on the back end. On the back end, that person that's seen that number, if they happen to be in my local area and I'm targeting them in my local area, I won. Yep. Everyone else has 200, I got 10,000. And all yeah. that happened, man, all that was from a Facebook ad. Like it, it happened fast. I mean, I spent a little bit more, but at the same time it was worth it. And now I, that, that was my step two. 
And now my step three, I just focus on, on lead capture ads. But again, by that point, the people that are filling out my form see that number and, and I won. I won when it, came to per, when it comes to perception. Not mm-hmm. that I'm better than anyone else at all, but when you look at the stupid number, you automatically, I have that perceived value. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's all you're looking for, man. That's all you're looking for with that simple ad. So, over, yeah, so what I was saying is that the reviews, yeah. So, so step one, all those links are listed. Step two, that like count is up. And then step three, start getting, start getting more reviews. You know, so now, you know, I got, I got 68 of all, you know, my past clients that just, you know, came over here and wrote something cool all because I really helped them with these steps. I mean, it's really just because of that. Every single person here, I helped with those steps. So again, those steps apply to any business, man, any business. Yeah, my, so I'd love I, to, yeah, love to help yeah, you out. Melissa, uh, Melissa put a recommendation on uh, your page there so I can do the same thing. Yes, man. Awesome. I'll do the same thing to you too. I, I actually have to do it after I run the like ad because once I run, in fact, are you on a computer right now? Yep. Okay. Because once I attach myself to your page to run the ad, I cannot write a review at the same time. So I'll write the review once we're done with the ad for sure. Because okay. I'll detach myself from your, your business page and now I'll be independent and I'll be able to write the review. So, mm-hmm. so here, here's what I just need you to do really quick and then we'll be done. Just go to, um, let me pull back up your business page. All I'm going to do is simply request access so I can run the ad. So you're going to go to your page and you're going to click on um, settings in the right. You should see um, settings. Settings. Yep. Yeah. Let me know if you, if you see settings. If I'm on the settings page. Okay. Do you, so on the left, do you see, um, do you see page roles? Yes. Okay, cool. So um, let me just get there one second. So click on, actually don't click on page roles just yet. Let me, um, let me send the, the request. So all I'm going to do is just simply come back to your page, copy your link, and then just request access to the page so I can run the ad. Um, okay, perfect. Okay, so now you should go ahead and Okay, perfect. So now click on now click on page roles if you didn't already. Click on page roles, or if you did, just refresh the page. Refresh here. It's amazing what technology can do. Yes, man. It's so it's so crazy, Dave. Like, yeah, man. And kind of scary when you think about it. <laughs> it, 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 it. I mean, you can look at it that way. You can look at it that way, but then again, you can look at it from a business perspective and a yeah. marketing perspective and be like, holy cow. Thank God for it, because how else would I be able to build my business? Let's see. It looks like pending partner requests from uh, Inspire Digital. Perfect. So just click on that, and then it'll take you through where you have to put in your password, and then that's it. And so all all that's doing is just allowing me to run the ad from my side. Um, And then once we hit our number, which at that budget, we'll be at 1,000 in the next We'll be at a thousand within the, within the next, within the next, I mean, I don't want to over promise, but I just, I, I run this ad in my sleep. So I, mm-hmm. I, I know the exact numbers and time frame. We'll be at that number within the next, within the next five to seven days. So once we pass a thousand, then you can always come back to this and remove me. Okay. So just like you clicked on respond to request, you can come back and then it'll, and it, you can come back and it'll say remove and you can just remove me. Let's see how about to approve request. You must re-enter our password. Yeah. What's my password? That I don't know. Hmm. Is that for the for Facebook? Yeah, for Facebook. Your password just to log into Facebook. All they're doing is just confirming that you. Oh want yeah. It. Uh, I can remember what it is. <laughs> I never have to log in with it. <laughs> you may have. Oh, I think I got my book here somewhere with my list of passwords. Everything is 
very much. Uh, let me see here. Okay, there's my password. And I suppose they want me to put my password in, so I'm not uh, um, giving away my information to people that shouldn't have it. Is, is that it? Let's see if that works here. And I think that worked. Okay, awesome. Let me just refresh my page over here. Yep, yeah, I think you're on there now. Awesome, cool. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just add myself, and we are good. So let me assign. Perfect. And then just let me know what card I can use, either Visa, Master, or Amex. Uh, where's my wallet up there? Wallet's up there. <laughs> Then I'll email you an actual like receipt or confirmation from the Facebook ad, so you'll get record of that here one once we're done. All right. So you take the credit card over the. Yeah, I can just take it now. Okay. All right, it's a visa. Okay. Uh, Four seven nine eight. Yeah, see how that's a that's a yep. vertical, that's a vertical shot right there. That's a vertical shot. I mean, I can easily, I can easily pull a home. Like I could t Facebook. First of all, on, on ninety nine percent of them, what I do is I um, and I actually have my buddy Scott joining us real quick, but um, I'll tell him. Hold on, but on ninety nine point nine 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 percent of every single ad that I run, I have Facebook pull the image for me. So I'll just type in like homes in Wisconsin and Facebook mm -hmm. pulls hundreds of images that I can just use. So I can easily get one from them. Or if you have one, then, then I can use that, but it almost doesn't even matter. Like the image, the image is not, is not the make or break at all. Um, mm -hmm. So don't even worry about it. Like I'll just pull an image of a, of a nice house and, I'll use that and I'll send you, I'll send you a picture tonight when I, when I have it all set up. Okay. Cool. Yeah, there's lots of fun things that I find wrong on inspections. I'm telling you, Dave, that, that right there, man, what I would do is I would brainstorm and I would write down all those things mm -hmm. and, 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 and that becomes your PDF. That becomes your free guide. <sighs> So, so whether it's pros and cons, whether it's top tips, whether it's what to look out for, you have all these different ideas. You have all these different pieces of knowledge in your brain that you know a homeowner can benefit from. We just need that on paper. And, and that's what we call a brochure, right? That's what a brochure would be. Mm -hmm. So that right there, man, is how you're going to win the game. That's how you're going to win your local area over is by, is by offering a PDF and getting people to download it all day. All day, every day, people are downloading that PDF. Mm -hmm. Going to your email list, scheduling appointments with you for a home inspection. So let's knock out step one and two. Um, and, then, and then just reach out to me. Let me know, let me know when you want to let, let me know when you really want to dive into that. And, and we'll set up another call where we focus just on that. But, but again, what I, what I really want first is, is, is some type of PDF. That's what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. So whether you can put one together, whether you want to reach out to someone on Fiverr and have yeah. them help you with it to, to begin with, that's an amazing place to go. In fact, I went there. That's where I got my book. I got, I have a PDF. So I turned mine into, into 55 pages. <laughs> But I literally hired someone to on Fiverr. I hired them for like I think I think I hired them for like forty bucks, and they put together like ten pages for me. And I and I got those ten pages back. It was on the topic of social media marketing for real estate agents. I got I got that 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 document, the Word document back, and I think it was like ten, twelve pages, and I turned it into fifty, fifty five, because all I did is I added my my knowledge, I added my two cents to it, I added a bunch of images. And I, and, and now that became my bait. And now I capture leads from that. As I run ads to real estate agents, I, I capture leads because I give that away for free. 
and people are scheduling appointments with me. So that's where we need to be next. Like that's where we need to be next. I don't know how soon or later you want to take that call, but that's where we're, we're at next. Step one, let's knock out these, these links. Step two, let's take this like count up. But I'm mm-hmm. telling you, we're going to be there in the next few days. Okay. Just reach back out to me and, and let me know when we can dive into step three. That's where I really want to start helping you take over your local area. Okay. Okay. But the wow. branding and this like count, that's first. Then yep. we get to that step next. Definitely agree that there are more people that uh, see that your page is liked and you mm-hmm. just get uh, more respect, I guess, from that. And versus somebody that has very few likes on their page and people aren't going to really want to go to that person. But yeah, if this person doing a lot of good stuff, yes, getting yeah. a lot of likes that uh, they're going to get more business, I would say. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, these are all perfect pictures, man. Awesome pictures, but the vertical, they're vertical images. So for the ad, like this is horizontal right here, right? Yeah. So I'll just simply, I'll pull some images from Facebook and I'll, I'll set it up to get tonight and I'll, I'll send you, I'll send you uh, like a snapshot right before we go live with it. Okay. Cool. That'll work. Sounds good, Dave. So if you need anything, man, send me a message. Um, I'll message you on Facebook, my phone number as well. So if you need to call me, text me send me an email, but I'll email you here shortly the video for step one. And then, and then we'll go from there. Then you can you're able to send me a, like a invoice. Oh yeah. You'll get that email. You'll get that here shortly. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Cool. That okay, will Dave. work. And put so, that in my records then. Next is step three. So let's, let's chat about that sooner than later and let's start capturing some leads, but okay. let's get a PDF, you know, something simple. Let's get something simple put together first. That's okay. what we're going to use to, to capture them. All right. Well, I'll work on uh, step one of getting the uh, links on yes. pages and all that good stuff. And That email will be titled step one. So I'll send that to you. I'll send you over step one um, and that'll be a, a simple video. Okay. That sounds like a good plan. Cool. All right, Dave. I'll text you my number here in a, in a, in a, in a second as well. So message me or, or text me if you need anything. All right. Sounds good. All right, boss. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Yep. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.